You know, I could get really nerdy right now. Nah. Instead of going into the nitty gritty, here is what you need to know. Polypeptides are like a football defensive team. Like the name says, many peptides are long chains of amino acids, usually more than 20. They're large in molecule size and they cannot get past the skin's barrier. Peptides are basically amino acids linked by a peptide bond and we naturally have these in our skin. So 2 to 50 molecules are considered peptides and 50 or more are actually considered proteins. So oligopeptides are the ones that you want to pay attention to when it comes to anti-aging. So this is basically small amino acids or small chains. So it's anywhere from 2 to 30 amino acids. So when you're looking on the label, you can see things like dipeptide, which basically means 2, tripeptide 3, and so on and so forth. So oligopeptides can help with moisturization, skin regeneration, anti-inflammatory, and they're basically messengers. And they go to specific, they send messages to specific cells or telomeres to basically do a certain specific task. So the first ones we're going to be talking about are the ones that actually help with wrinkles. So the reason why this is important is because they are smaller in size and they can actually penetrate the skin's barrier. So now we're going to be talking about wrinkles as far as how to treat them. So if you already have existing wrinkles or fine lines and wrinkles. So this is for wrinkle reduction or skin regeneration. And basically this helps stimulate collagen production and elastin production. And basically, for those of you who cannot tolerate any type of retinoids, this basically does what Retin-A can do without the inflammation that can come from retinoic acid. Pentapeptides are one of the most commonly used peptides in anti-aging skincare. So if you see palmitoyl pep pentapeptide-4 or palmitoyl tripeptide, otherwise known as Matrixyl 3000, which is the trademark name, this is very common in anti-aging and it helps with wrinkle reduction because it increases collagen and elastin production. But not only that, it actually helps increase the hyaluronic acid levels in our skin. So it's basically a fatty acid plus five amino acids that work together to work in the lower levels of your skin. So the next one is hexapeptide and that's six amino acids and these are signaling peptides. The trademark for this, and you may not necessarily see hexapeptides, you may just see synake or synake. And basically, these perform like a Botox, in which they um, basically work like Botox, so it almost like freezes or prevents your muscles from moving, so you don't get these kind of wrinkling, you know, especially on your forehead area or anywhere that you have uh, fine lines or wrinkles due to um, express showing an expression. In my personal opinion, the products that I've used that had this, it doesn't work exactly probably like Botox. I didn't see any that, that much of a difference. This has nothing to do with skin regeneration. It just helps relax the facial muscles. So uh, once again, I've used products like this and um, I didn't see that much of a difference uh, for my skin. Now, for those of you who have super sensitive skin and have reacted to copper, you may want to be careful. Some of my clients have worked better with copper PCA. Others have worked better with the copper peptides. And basically, it's trace amounts of copper that are attached to these amino acids. So they help regenerate and heal the skin. So once again, some of you who are maybe sensitive to this metal, I'm not really sure. It can actually help your skin, like the one, uh, one of my clients that had the beginning stages of rosacea. Other people, it may not work so well. So it can, it can be uh, labeled as arginine or acetylhexapeptide 8. Now, here is a product that actually has it, and this is a company called Biotalk Expert Lifting and it has the three peptides in here. Um, it also has the hydrolyzed collagen. So here's an example. This is called the Biotalk Expert Lifting Cream. And the reason why I'm choosing this one is it actually has 
the very specific peptides in there. A lot of times you'll see one or two in there, but this has a really good balance of it. And I actually kept the box because it actually has the list of ingredients where the um, tube does not. So, in the top third, you, I don't know if you could actually see this. Let me try to find it. Okay, so starting from here. So it's actually the top third of it. It has the copper tripeptide in there, and then it has the promatoyl pentapeptide in there, and then the acetyl hexapeptide dash eight. So it has all three of this in a good balance of it. And a lot of times if you look at your ingredients list, it will be like towards the bottom or, you know, the the bottom, bottom part of it, which I don't like. And it's actually pretty high up there. It also has mushroom extract for brightening and green tea, which is a brightening and anti-inflammatory, and a rice ferment in there for good probiotic to increase the natural skin's um, the biome. It also has the arginine that we talked about and the polyglutamic acids. So let me try to find that. Here's the arginine over here, and then it has the polyglutamic acid. I don't know if I can find it over here. Um, for hydration and creating a hydration film and increasing the skin's hydration all in one. So this is why I really do like this one. So the ordinary copper peptide 1% or the copper buffet, buffet uh, peptide 1% actually also has the copper peptides as well as the matrixyl 10% as well as argiline. Now the thing with that is um, an a couple of my clients want to actually used to have my brick and mortar store when they would be using this also they would also pair this with the skin suitables l ascorbic acid as well as the ordinary's um, toning solution it says in the small bottom um, that you cannot use it with any ahas so like i said this is why a lot of times people are neutralizing the effects of skincare products and they're not they don't even know that they are doing it. So please be careful on how you mix and match the products. Now these peptides are more for wrinkle prevention. It doesn't mean that for people who have mature skin that you don't want to use this, but for younger skin that are looking for an introduction to anti-aging ingredients, more for wrinkle prevention, this may be one that you want to pay attention to. So for those of you who are younger, you may pay attention more to this type of peptide, and that is the palmitol pentapeptide 7 or the palmitol pentapeptide, formerly known as palmitol peptide pentapeptide 3. This um, soothes the skin, reduces inflammation, and it's not that mature skin um, don't have to use it. They can, but if you don't have any fine lines and wrinkles yet and you want to prevent that, you want to reduce the inflammation because inflammation, prolonged inflammation, can lead to the breakdown of collagen and elastin. So the ordinary matrixyl 10% plus hyaluronic acid um, may be a better option for oily skin and younger skin. Now, this there are more results that are coming out with this, but if you introduce oligopeptides with microneedling, and I did a video on microneedling here, you can check it out. But if you use peptides, with or serums with oligopeptides in with microneedling this also helps because it creates those very very tiny channels to increase penetration so that is why i used that three cross-linked uh biotox um, serum which has the peptides the tripeptides in there with the microneedling so hopefully you found this helpful if you like this give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscription as well as ringing that bell. So remember, makeup is an art and skincare is a science.